So we're going to be talking about Nintendo Switch 2 today because we have a small little update that, I'm going to tell you right now, it is small, but it is something that is relevant and it actually is partially related to the PlayStation 5 as well. We'll talk about why that's the case, but it does sort of look like Nintendo Switch 2 is looking to get some orders in for certain retail stores sometime here within the next you know 12 months or so. Again, people really just want to know when the hell is this thing going to be announced? When is it going to come out? Uh, should we buy a Switch OLED now? Should we wait for a Switch 2? Is it coming this holiday? Is it coming in 2024, 2025? Look, I wish I had those sort of answers for you in this video. And if that's what you're looking for, I'm sorry. I'll be upfront. That's not the answer you're going to get. But instead, we do have something to talk about here that is on the more legit side of the existence of the system, since so many people seem to doubt it even exists, despite Nintendo already telling us that new hardware exists and they're working on it. So let's dive into this after I remind you that, hey, we do have a giveaway going on right now. If you want to win a Zelda Special Edition Switch OLED or a Tears of the Kingdom Collector's Edition and or a pin from PAX East for Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, you can go ahead and Enter in the link in the pinned comment or the description. Winners are drawn the day Tears of the Kingdom comes out on May 12th. And yeah, we're on a road to 133,000 subscribers right now. So I would appreciate if you would go ahead and subscribe to the channel because Nintendo is 133 years old this year. All right. So what are we talking about when it comes to Switch 2? Well, we're talking about at Sega Mega 99 on Twitter. And I hear you when I bring up a Twitter account, it makes you cringe a little bit. Uh, we haven't really been covering a lot of these so-called uh, Twitter leaks. We've we kind of learned our lesson during the whole Switch Pro debacle, Samus Hunter and others that, you know what, we need to go with a bit more reputable uh, sources on this stuff typically. And the funny thing is, this person actually is extremely reputable because at Sega Mega 99 is known in the industry. He is known among retailers. He's known among media. And why is this person known? Well, this person has been at several different media events, such as Gamescom and E3 in years past, handling purchase orders for video game stores in Japan. So this is a person that behind the scenes Make sure that basically store game, video game stores in Japan have the games on the shelf, have the systems on the shelf. He works with various stores in Japan. So it is someone who comes out of Japan, and they're just extremely well-known. A lot of people know who this person is, but online they use pseudonames because, hey, you know, when you're that connected in the industry and you're that close to the, the point where you're making purchasing orders for video game stores... Clearly, you can't be out in the public eye, but he's he's a known quantity in the industry. Now, what did he put out there that we need to pay attention to? Well, he tweeted out, Switch Pro, PS5 Pro, you're going to become a great manufacturer, a wholesaler. Now, what does this actually mean? Remember, Google Translate here is a 100% perfect translating Japanese into English. What we do know is that when he's said stuff like this in the past, it's typically been around the time that he was starting to have conversations on purchasing orders. Now, the monikers Switch Pro and PS5 Pro are obviously the made-up monikers by the media. That doesn't mean that that's what's next. Like, PS5 Pro could really just be the PS5 Slim coming out here with the, atta uh, the optional attachable disk drive, right? So that could be something that's been rumored that to come this year. It could be that. The Switch Pro sounds like it was canceled and we're getting a Switch 2, but we technically don't have a name. Uh, so Switch Pro could mean anything. It could mean Switch 2, Switch Pro. It could mean 2024. It could mean 2023. We just don't have the exact details on this, but it does mean that he's clearly looking into the manufacturing and the purchase orders for this stuff. Now, could that be for this holiday? Could this be just the early first he's hearing of this stuff and it's going to be for 2024? Again, I don't have answers for you, but this is just evidence that these things exist, right? There is a new PlayStation 5 coming of some type. There is a new Nintendo Switch of some type coming as well. What those systems are, how powerful they're going to be, are what you know quality of life improvements are going to exist. 
Look, we have other places rumoring that. You can go to Insider Gaming. Uh, there's some excellent reporting over there. There's been excellent reporting over on Bloomberg as well, Eurogamer, etc. So we've had a number of reports about the PS5 Pro, the PS5 Slim with the detachable disk drive, and also the Switch Pro slash Switch 2. So we've had a number of these reports already out there for a while. And I, I always remind people when we talk about how Nintendo's next system uh, is it going to be a Switch? Or Nintendo's next system doesn't exist. It's not real. Nintendo already told us it's real. They gave us a graph back in 2021 showing that they were looking into bringing Nintendo accounts forward to their next generation hardware. Hello, if Nintendo was already planning back then to bring their accounts forward, that's because they were already working on their next generation hardware. Nintendo has also previously stated back in 2022 that they're always working on new hardware. Again, this is a statement we've heard from Nintendo many times over the years, but if you think they're not making anything after Switch, you're silly. Of course they're making something else. And traditionally, they do make an iterative system. Now, iterative systems haven't always done well for Nintendo, but they haven't always transitioned very well either. Oftentimes, iterative systems have released after they have milked the current popular system into oblivion and to the point that no one's buying it anymore. Switch isn't at that point yet, and sales are starting to rise a little bit thanks to Tears of the Kingdom coming up, but still... It is in a down year, and it would make sense if they dropped one this year to avoid that milking it that extra year too long. But who knows? I mean, th this, again, doesn't really give us any information on when we can expect a Switch Pro or a PS5 Pro or a Switch 2 or a PS5 Slim. This doesn't give us that sort of details. Just that, yeah, this person's looking at the manufacturing and purchase orders uh, coming up here for these. These purchase orders are often made well in advance, right? So if he, he can be making purchase orders now for retail outlets in Japan, that could be for this holiday. He could also be making purchase orders now or having conversations about purchase orders now for 2024 just to try to get his Japanese stores he represents at the forefront so they know what's going to happen. They know if they're going to have to worry about doing a lottery system like they've had to do to sell systems in the past in Japan, etc., etc., etc. So what we do know is this person is very well connected. They're mentioning this publicly. They're attaching manufacturing and purchase orders to it. They are heavily involved in it. And that does sort of suggest, hey, look, it's probably here by the end of 2024. Uh, does this mean the Switch Pro and the PS5 Pro are tied together with release timing? Of course not. Uh, it's just having that, that uh, conversation. And who knows? Maybe the same manufacturer is manufacturing both products that does happen because nintendo xbox and uh sony all kind of use the same manufacturers samsung and foxconn and all the rest to make their components so this isn't really a shocking thing that maybe he would be talking to one manufacturer provider on wholesale prices and, and, and purchasing uh you know these systems for stores that being said let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Uh, we have another video coming later today on Tears of the Kingdom, I believe. We have some small updates on that. Uh, some really cool updates, in fact, and maybe a possible warning as well. I don't want to uh, scare you guys too much, but eh, we, we need to talk a little bit about Tears of the Kingdom today. You guys are awesome and amazing. I want to thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.